It is one of the most spectacular reports in current space research. The data from NASA's InSight probe suggests the urgent conclusion that a gigantic water reservoir lies dormant beneath the surface of Mars. In fact, the reservoir could even be large enough to flood the entire planet one to two kilometers high. The cool water is hidden in the cracks and pores of the Martian crust, and according to the experts, it's even possible that Martian life is still slumbering down there. The fact that Mars is also known as the Red Planet is no coincidence. The surface of our planetary neighbor is actually covered in iron oxide dust, which gives it its characteristic color. A very dusty calling card, but one that fits perfectly with the dry and cold face that Mars presents to us today. But if we turn the wheel of time back a good 3 billion years, we realize that Mars was once much more rippling. It is now considered certain that the celestial body was once adorned with rivers and lakes, and even full-blown oceans. Calculations have shown that the Martian oceans could have covered up to 75% of the planet's surface, but a few dramatic climate changes and the loss of the dense atmosphere later, not much remains of the once so liquid face. In the same breath, however, the end of the life-friendly Martian era also raises a fundamental question. For where did all the red planet's waters actually disappear to? In fact, the data collected so far indicates that the polar ice caps of Mars are not large enough to store all the water of the former oceans. The same also applies to the water ice deposits that have been detected in the mid-latitudes below the surface. Against this background, most researchers assume that the red planet has simply released most of its water reserves into space. Due to the lack of a magnetic field, it was easy for the solar wind to sweep parts of the planet's atmosphere, and therefore its water, out into space. So much for the theory, but the bottom line is that there is also another explanation, which does not locate the Martian water anywhere in the universe, but still on the planet. And to find out whether the water in the Martian oceans could have retreated into the depths of the rocky crust, the team led by Vashon Wright from the University of California in San Diego examined the data from Mars quakes collected by the seismometer on NASA's InSight lander from 2018 to 2022. Given that the seismological data had already shown that there is hardly any water in the Martian crust down to a depth of 300 meters at the InSight site, one might think that the venture was not particularly promising. But sometimes you literally have to look deeper. The focus of Wright and his colleagues was on the middle crust of the celestial body, which is hidden around 11.5 to 20 kilometers below the surface. And although the average annual temperature on Mars is minus 68 degrees Celsius, these underground regions could be warm enough to allow the existence of permanently liquid water at the upper edge of the Martian middle crust. Furthermore, previous analyses had already shown that the crustal region of desire could be peppered with many rock pores. And so, as part of their study, the scientists specifically evaluated the seismic data, which could reveal something about the nature of the middle crust. The mathematical model of rock physics that was used here is used on Earth, for example, to detect oil deposits. But on Mars, it should bring something to light that was considered absolutely impossible not so long ago. Enough water for a planet-spanning ocean Ultimately, the analysis of the seismological data provided two insights. On the one hand, confirmation that the Martian mid-crust is porous, as assumed, and that the cavities make up around 17% of the rock. And secondly, that the fine fissures and pores are actually filled with liquid water. In this respect, Wright's group stated that the data collected can best be explained by a middle crust of fractured magmatic rock saturated with liquid water. In other words, there could be a huge reservoir of liquid water 11 to 20 kilometers below the surface of Mars. However, this exciting news is currently still accompanied by a small but. Because this only applies if the results are representative not only for the location of the Mars probe, but also for the rest of the planet. However, if this is the case, Mars could have stored a groundwater deposit in its rock pores that is large enough to form a planet-wide ocean. What's more, the amount of water would even be enough to flood the entire surface of Mars one to two kilometers high. 
Against this background, the invisible reservoir could also explain what happened to the water in the vanished Martian oceans. It was not lost through atmospheric outgassing, but instead seeped into the depths of the Martian crust, where it has been preserved to this day in the form of poor water. However, anyone who believes that Elon Musk can already provide the drinking bottles for the future inhabitants of Mars is mistaken. In fact, the water reservoir would be inaccessible to future Mars visitors and stations, as there is simply no drilling technology that can penetrate to such extreme depths. But what can reach such extreme depths is life. The Home of Martians? In spring 2021, Antarctic researchers were astonished. What began as drilling through the so-called Filchner Rhone ice shelf ultimately led to the completely surprising discovery of sedentary creatures that somehow managed to survive 900 meters below the surface, far from any sunlight and without any apparent source of food. And then there is the mysterious world of life that has unfolded in the basement of the Earth in the form of the so-called deep biosphere. While this is mainly made up of bacteria, viruses, and fungi, these tiny survivors have already been detected in the sediments of the oceans, in volcanic rock, and even in the solid bedrock of the continents. In view of this, you might think that the famous Jurassic Park quote, that life always finds a way in the end, actually corresponds to reality. Well, at least on Earth. But what about the case of the hidden Martian water? Could life actually thrive in the extreme underground world of the Red Planet? Well, the researcher's short but profound answer is, why not? In this regard, co-author Michael Manga from the University of California at Berkeley is quoted as follows. Since water is a prerequisite for life as we know it, I don't see why the subsurface reservoir of Mars wouldn't also be a life-friendly environment. We have not yet discovered any evidence of life on Mars, but we now have at least one place that would in principle support life. But let's assume that Mars really does harbor, or once harbored, microbial life. Why then have we still not managed to uncover the signatures of the tiny Martians? Well, the truth is that we may have already done so. Are these the traces of Martian microbes? Perseverance has been exploring the landscape and rocks in the Jezero Crater on Mars for three and a half years now. Landed on the Red Planet on February 18th, 2021, NASA's rover is dedicated to the main task of collecting soil samples for later transport back to Earth. But at the same time, Perseverance is also keeping its technical eyes open for possible traces of previous Martian inhabitants. And indeed, NASA announced a few weeks ago that the rover had made an unprecedented discovery in this regard. Perseverance has tracked down a unique rock formation at the northern foothills of the ancient Neretva Vallis River Valley, which has been christened Chayava Falls and is adorned with broad white sulfate veins. Between them is a darker, reddish material that indicates the presence of the iron oxide mineral hematite. In principle, this occurs in large quantities on Mars, but this does not apply to the few millimeter-sized, irregularly shaped patches in the deposits, which have a dirty white color. Surrounded by rings of black material containing iron and phosphate, the rock, which is around one meter long and 60 centimeters wide, marks nothing less than the first clear evidence of organic material on Mars. What is particularly exciting is the assumption that the colored spots could indicate chemical reactions that microbial organisms use as a source of energy. Spectrometer analyses have indeed shown that both the spots and their surroundings contain organic carbon compounds. The bottom line is that the stain pattern in combination with the iron and phosphates is similar to the traces typically left on Earth by microbes. In detail, these deposits are often associated with the fossil traces of subsurface microbes, whereby iron and phosphate are released when the microorganisms reduce iron oxide. There is also clear evidence that water once flowed over Chayava Falls, creating a life-friendly environment for Martian microbes. But what do all these points actually mean? Has Perseverance finally provided definitive proof of the existence of extraterrestrial life? Well, not necessarily. NASA emphasizes that although the organic molecules on Earth can often be traced back to bacteria, they can also be formed via geochemical pathways that do not involve living organisms. This is possible, for example, in the course of volcanic activity, 
and as yet we simply do not know how Chayava Falls was formed and whether it was possibly influenced by lava. Unfortunately, however, the experts have now exhausted their remote sensing measures. According to their own statements, they have bombarded the rock with lasers and x-rays and photographed it day and night from every conceivable angle. In order to really understand what is behind the boulder, it must be brought to Earth. There, an in-depth analysis with high-precision instruments could finally clarify whether the Martian rock is indeed adorned with ancient traces of life. And you can now decorate the subscription button with brand new click marks. Feel free to press the thumbs up and subscribe to never miss an exciting video from us again. We'll see you soon.